Hi guys and welcome back to the world of Beth. Today we're going to take another look at some ESL tips and tricks and today we're just going to look at the articles A and AN and when to use them. So you may have heard the usual trick which is we use A when the noun starts with a consonant and we use AN when the noun starts with a vowel. And that's correct, but not completely correct. When we use A, we use it with a consonant, but a consonant sound. It's about how the word is pronounced, how you hear it, not how it's written. And it's the same for AN. So we use AN when the word is a vowel sound, not how it's spelt simply how it sounds. So for example, let us take the word umbrella. Now umbrella starts with a U, which is a vowel. So we say an umbrella. Great. Now let's take the word university. University also starts with a U. But do we say an university? No. And that's because the university sound is a y, university. Y is not a vowel sound. So we say a university. The same is true with the letter h. For example, we would say a horse. And that's because the h in horse is a strong h. H, horse. We hear the h, so it's a consonant we use an A. But the word honest, honest is spelt with an H, but we don't pronounce the H. So it's an O sound. An O, O, is a vowel. So we say an honest person. A horse, an honest person. An umbrella, a university. Now it's usually only with O's and U's where you will find that there is a change. Most of the time with A, E and I, it's how it's spelled. If it begins with an A, it's an an, an apple. Okay? That's the easiest way to remember. If you're not sure how you should be using your article, does it require an A or an AN, speak the word out loud. If you hear a consonant sound, for example, horse, you need an A. But if you hear the vowel sound, honest, O, you need the AN. So remember, when using the articles A and AN, it's about how it sounds, not how it's spelled. I hope this has been of help to you. If there are any particular um, grammar points you would like me to cover, please leave a comment in the box and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.